All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Sham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mohav, Kadash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. And I want to say to Wadi Yahawa, to Wadi Yahawa Yabashai, to Wadi Yahawa, to Wadi Yahawa Yabashai, for allow me for another day to be able to minister to the elect and hopes of being saved within these last days. Without further ado, we're just going to flow with the Spirit. I want to rush this lesson too much, but I want to get it out because I think there's going to be a load of thundering today. So I want to get it out, get this lesson out. And let's start off with 1 Timothy. Right? And 10, 2 and 10. Right? Actually, you know what? I want to go straight to verse 2. Right? Go therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in your house, Mashiach. So we've been given grace. Be strong in the grace that we've been given. We've been given mercy, we've been we've been given grace, right? Favor, some of the elect. Let's just be strong in that grace that we've been given. Right? Not everybody's been given grace. Be strong in that grace. Do not be discouraged. Be encouraged. And the things that thou hast heard among me, among many witnesses, the same commit to faithful men. Who are the many witnesses? Right? The angels. Right? They also witness what we're doing. Right? This is a wonderful work that's being done for Yahweh Shai. And the same commit to faithful men. So we're not just committing this to anyone. We're also committing this to faithful men that also want to go out and teach as well. Commit this word, teach this word unto other faithful men that hear this word and that say, what can I do to add to this ministry? Who shall be able to teach others also, other men that learn this truth and they can teach others and pass on that baton? Okay? And it says, verse 3, though therefore, though therefore endure hardness as a good soldier. Endure hardness as a good soldier because a soldier needs to be hard you go into that word soldier it's when you what soldier something and it becomes hard right so soldiers need to become hardened we're in different terrain we face different terrain we, diff we face different circumstances and that's the most so that's supposed to make us harder right tribulation that's, that's supposed to make us harder the things we go through that's supposed to make us harder okay Though for endure hardest, the good soldier of Yahabashai Mashiach, right? Oh, the agents are out here this morning. But guess what? I, I said they, they have to do that, right? They have to do that. They, they have no choice. They have to, it's like a, they have to follow you about. They have no choice, right? That's their, that's their lot, <laughs> okay? And it said, no for endure hardest as a good soldier of Yahweh Mashiach. No man that war is entangling himself with the affairs of this life. That he may please him. You have chosen him to be a soldier, so we can't get entangled with all these different things. And that's why Esau would try to use all these entanglements. Right? He would try to use all these entanglements, everything around us. Right? We cannot be entangled with this world. Right? And what does it mean when you're entangled? When enough spiders um, spindles a web, it gets so entangled. It gets so caught up. So we don't want to get caught up in this web of things. Right? We don't want to get caught up. And that's, that's what a spider does. Right? And the web would be what? This system. Okay? And it says, But he may please him, he may have chosen him to be a soldier. So that's what we're supposed to be. If any man also strive for the masters, yet, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully. So there's a particular way this also has to be done. You also got to strive lawfully in this truth. Right? The husbandman that labors must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. So if you don't have understanding, pray for that understanding, and the Lord Jehovah shall give it to you. Okay? And it says. Remember that you have a child of the seed of David was raised from the dead, right? According to my gospel. 
wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds. But the word of the Most High is not bound. Excuse me. All right. Though therefore I endure things, and this is the word of the Most High is not bound. You can you cannot put this. Esau, what he's trying to do is, because he's the devil, he's trying to put this truth into a box. Oh, this is what it is, and that's it. You can't put this truth into a box. Okay. And it says, Therefore I endure all things for what? The elect's sake. So we endure all things that come our way. But it, Paul was doing that. For the elect's sake. Enduring all things. Alright. And it says, That they may also obtain salvation, which is in Yahweh Shemashat, with eternal glory. They were enjoying all types of things that were coming their way. Alright. For the Alexa, then they must also must attain salvation, which is in your habit with eternal glory. So that's what we have to do. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we also shall live with him. So the elect, they're, they are dead with your In other words, they put off the old man. In other words, they crucified the old man. Right? That's what it means. Okay? Excuse me just a minute. Therefore, if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. You hear that? If we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. So that, that's, that means putting, on, putting off the ways of the flesh and being reborn again. Not just putting on a garment and coming out on Saturday and think, oh, that's it, that's not enough. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha. Baba Kisha, excuse me just a minute. We shall also live with him. Right? If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. So part of this truth is suffering with Yahweh Shai. Therefore, we can reign with him. Okay? If we deny him, he will also deny us. Right? That's what we don't want to deny Yahweh Shai. We want to stay rooted in this faith. If we believe not yet to abide in faith, he cannot deny it. Himself. You have sure I can't deny himself. Right? Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about worse than our prophets, but the subversion of the heavens. Right? So we gotta watch suffer with you, have a shine. And we arraign with him. Right? Go to Colossians 3. If he then be risen with Mashiach, I haven't been in this scripture for a long time. If he be risen, alright? So you're risen, right? You're you're new. You're the so-called newborn Christian, a newborn believer, right? If you be risen with your house shine, right? What is that in the air? Is that a, I don't know if that's a chariot or not. If it is, your house shine, your house shine. So what do you have? So what do you have? Why you shine, right? So it says, if you be risen with Mashiach, seek those things which are above. So that's what we're seeking. We're seeking the heavenly things that are above, right? The spiritual things. Right? Seek those things which are from above. Right? The things that we don't see. Okay? Where Mashiach sit upon the right hand. That's what puts you on that higher level of understanding. Right? Seeking those things which are above. And the things which are above to this world, it doesn't, ho it doesn't hold no weight to this world. But it holds weight to us. Seeking those things which are above. Okay, and it says Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Seek those things which are above the spiritual things, spiritual understanding, revelation, wisdom, right? And not the things that are on earth. Because most people they're seeking the things that are upon this earth, right? Seek those things which are above and not the things that are upon earth. Right? And it says we are dead and your life is hid. And this is heavy, not the things that are up on earth. Because all the things here are vain. Not the things that are up on earth. I've seen it. Well, you can, have, you can have the lot, you can have the money, you can have the cars, you can have the jewelry. And people, they're still not happy. They're still, they're still not content. I'm telling you, this word, it gives you, this word gives you everything and more. Everything and more. Yahweh Shai gives you everything and more. Okay, 
these people they're not content but you are dead and your life is hid with mashiach it says you are dead and your life is hid with mashiach so scriptures say what it what it means you are dead and you, what does it mean you are dead not phys, not so much physically spiritually to this world the old man who you were before and your life is hid with your habashai and mashiach yeah? when mashiach who is our life shall appear then you shall also appear with him in glory so the elect will appear with your habashai in great 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 glory right because they they done the things that they had to do they were going through their sufferings and it's all going to be written what you had to go through right we're just waiting waiting upon your house while suffering right? and he is your is going to appear and that's what we're waiting for right that is what we are waiting for okay so with this is there anything else to go into I don't want to drag it out for too long. It's all about seeking Yahweh Shai. It's all about seeking Him. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh Shai while He may be found. That's what we got to do. Seek the Lord Jehovah where he may be found. How is he found? Right? He's found through his men. Right? Through the men of the Lord, through inquiring. Right? That's how he is found. Right? That's how you seek. How do you seek the Lord? Through his men, through his mouthpieces. And through these scriptures. The Bible. That's how you seek Jehovah Shai. You're seeking, you're inquiring. You want to know. You want to find out. Scriptures do say, search and you shall find. I forgot that's somewhere in Matthew. Right? Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way. Right? Call upon him while he is near. So, how is he near? He's near through these words that you can inquire of and through his prophets that are still out here. That's how you seek the Lord, Jehovah, Shem, Yehovah, Shem. Okay? Why he is near. And it says, let the wicked forsake his way and unrighteous man his thoughts. Because we all have wicked ways, we all have wicked thoughts. We have to forsake that. Okay? And let him return unto the Lord Jehovah, and he will have mercy upon him to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Let him return. So return unto Yahweh Shai. And it says, he will abundantly. Key thing. He will abundantly. Abundantly pardon your sins, your trespasses. That's if you return to him. And you make a conscious effort. It doesn't mean you're not going to ever mess up. You make a conscious effort to return back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what it means. And He will abundantly pardon because He's very merciful. All right. So we went to that Baba Kesha. It's going to be time when the doors of mercy are going to close, just like in the time of Noah. Noah was warning the people, look, you need to get right, there's going to be a flood, there's going to be a flood. What were they doing? They were mocking and scoffing. Right? But you have to search, you have to search, and you will find. Believe this, search and you will find. Excuse me just a minute. Check this out, this is Matthew 7 and 7. Ask and it shall be given you. So how do you expect anything? You ain't, you ain't even asked yet. You ain't even asked for nothing yet. Ask and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open unto you. Unto you. So have you even knocked yet? Right? Nobody's going to open the door if you're just standing at the door and you haven't knocked. Right? Knock and it shall be open unto you. What would be open? Yahweh Shai. He will open up to you. He will come into you. He will sup with you. Right? For everyone that asks is receiving. You're asking, you're going to receive. Right? And he that seeketh findeth, and him that knocketh, it shall be opened. What will be open? The doors of your mind and your understanding. Right? What man is there of you whom his son asked bread? Will he give him a stone? Now you're going to give what your son asked for if he's doing what's right. Okay? And it says, 
Or if he ask a fish, would he give him a serpent? If he then being evil, the people of this world, they're evil, right? They celebrate Christmas and all that, birthdays, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good gifts to them that ask him? Therefore, all things whatsoever would that men should do to you, do unto them for the law and the prophet. So the Lord will, if you really, really want to know answers, you really want them answers to life, you really sincerely want the answers, what's the meaning of life, Yahweh will give you them. Once upon a time, I was walking around, lost, sometimes crying. There has to be something more than what I see with my naked eye. There has to be, there, there has to be something more. We can't, we weren't just brought on this earth to work, sleep, shit, wake up, work, sleep, shit. Excuse my language. I knew that. I always knew there was more. I used to, I used to walk around just wanting answers. Now I've got them answers, man, to life, which is in the scriptures. Everything is in these scriptures. Everything. Right? This is the Yahabashai is the key. Right? And he has the open door. Let's go to Revelations because that just came to mind. See, without I want to say this, this is the fact. Without without Yahabashai, you can do nothing. The scripture says that in John, you can do nothing. In other words, without Yahabashai, you're useless. Without without you have a shy, you're useless. You're not of you're not of no good. Right? So these people, they they're useless. I don't I don't bro, I don't care what occupation you have. Oh what you're a carpenter. Right? You're a construction. I don't care, bro. You're still useless in the eyes of you have a shy. Right? Now is it good? Like, it's, of, of course it's good doing a bit of handiwork, but that's not gonna save you when the missiles come. Because this kingdom is going to be destroyed by permanent nuclear destruction. So what's more important? Serving Yahweh Shai. Right? And a lot of these people, they don't even worry about them because they're under MK Ultra. Most of these people are under MK Ultra. Right? Don't have any any critical logical thinking from the scriptures. Right? They, they, they're just robots. Right? Go to Romans 3 and 7. And unto the angel of the church of Philadelphia, write these things, saith he that is holy, he that is free, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. Right? So who would have the key of David? You have a shy. Openeth, no man can shut it to you. Right? And no man openeth. I know that works, and behold, I've set before thee an open door. That door is already set. And no man can shut it, for thou has a little strength, and has kept my word, and has not denied my name. So you have just said, I have an open door. I open it, no man can shut it. I shut it, no man can open it. So it's up to you, have a shut if he opens up your mind to this tree, and it's up to him if he wants to close the, your understanding to this tree. He says, no man, no man can shut it. Once he opens up that door, no man can shut. No man can say, um, um, I don't believe you. Um, I don't want him to make it. Please, you have to don't make. I don't want him to make it. No, if the Lord is, is, if you're of that elect, you're of the elect. Simple as that. If you're of the elect, you're of the elect. Ain't no one can do to stop that. They can try to block your blessings, but if you're of the elect, you're of the elect. And this, that's the beautiful thing about this. They cannot stop you from becoming the elect. All they can do is try to, the devil can do is try to hinder you and use his MK Ultra GMO babies. Right? I want to do a lesson on, Law when I want to do a lesson on that as well. What's that scripture? Um, women shall bring forth untimely monsters. Because a lot of these women, they're giving birth to what? Monsters and uh, MK Ultra babies. Right? Okay, a lot of, the, a lot of these children are being hypnotized and a lot of these women I've had about two or three women that have walked past not today during the week and they were like in a in a hypnotic state but that's what you do when you sell out right you, you hypnotize yourself to believe in a lie and to ignore the, the wickedness that's going on around you that's what people do they can they consent to that right even 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 your news even your newscasters 
when they're presenting to you the news, they look like they're under hypnotism. Because they consent to a lie. And if you consent to a lie, that means you're not about truth. You're supposed to consent to the truth, not lies. So Yahusha has an open door, right? For those that believe in him. And no man can shut it, but it has a little strength. It might not be much strength, but it has a little strength. And has kept my word and has not denied my name. So this is about keeping the word. Keep this word. And not denying Yahusha's name. I want to go to Mark. This is Mark. Go straight to verse 34. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples, also he said unto them, Whoso will come after me, let him deny himself. Goes into the premise of the lesson that we started off. You know how much denying we got to do of ourselves, what we want to do, and serve Yahabashai even more. Let him deny himself. So we got to keep doing that. Denying what we want to do. Okay. Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Deny yourself, take up your cross and follow Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? And what did Yahweh Shai say when he saw the disciples for the first time? Follow me. Leave what you're doing. Follow me. But whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life for my name's sake. And the gospel is the same shall save you. You're going to have eternal life. Right? But what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? So a lot of these people, they did gain the world. Right? But they had to hit they had to hit they had to be hypnotized. They gained the world. They had to let they had to let Satan jump in them. So Satan jumps in them, jumps out of them and use it anytime he wants. Right? To gain the world. Yeah, they may have a few connections. But that's who it is. They have a, they 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 um they have a network of demons. They all network, and that's it. Our network, our communication is with Yahweh Shai and the real brethren. That's our network, the highest of networks, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, right? Esau uses his electricity, right, and so forth. But what's the highest form of electricity? Lightning. And you heard that lightning yesterday. That was Yahweh Shai roaring because Yahweh Shai is angry with the wicked every day. He's angry with this place. We gotta take up our cross and follow Yahweh Shai to the best of our ability. Okay? And it says, And what should a man give in exchange for his soul? There's always something that's that's given in exchange for your soul. That's why a lot of these people gotta do unholy sacrifices and rituals for their soul. Right? Was it really worth it? Because you could still get you could this the thing is. This whole thing of oh no, you have to sell out if you want to be wealthy or this. That's not true. That is not true. Well, you have to sell out if you want to live a good life. No, you don't. Right? Because you had men that were living good, our forefathers, and they didn't have to sell out. Joseph didn't have to do that. Daniel didn't have to do that. Daniel was promoted in the kingdom of Nebuchadnezzar. So they didn't have to sell out. Right? You had many, many people that didn't have to do that. Right? Solomon didn't have to. He was given all that and more. Right? So that's a lie. Right? Now within within this kingdom, do people have to do unholy rituals? Yes. Right? If they want to make it. But we don't have to. Right? There is a choice. Choose who you shall serve. Okay. Choose who you shall serve. So it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, or what should a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, this is also an adulterous and sinful. Key thing, adulterous and sinful generation. Right? Very. Of him shall also the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come in the what? glory of his father with the angels with these holy angels so I don't want Yahushua to be ashamed of me when he comes right 
I don't want him to be ashamed. Right? And he's coming in, in, in great glory. I want him to say, look, this is my faithful, look, this is my faithful servant. Excuse me just a minute. Go to Matthew. Yeah, Esau can do that. You know? You only come to the realization now that he had well, you know, the devil, he had um a lot of people around you under hypnotism. You know, he has them in his grip. Alright? And that's why we face there's not much yeah, you can pray for the one certain people that are around you, but if your Hawasha has already marked him for a certain destruction, what else can you do? And you don't really want to be praying for people that keep on denying your Hawashai. You don't want to be praying for people like that do. That openly deny your Hawashai. That hate this word. Your Hawashai is making that, he's making that separation. Okay. Excuse me just a minute. This is Matthew 25 and don't break the verse. Where should we go? Where should we go? Where should we go? 25. Go um, to that good servant. His Lord said unto him, Oh, good, well, ser faithful servant that has been faithful over what a few things I will make thee ruler over many things. This is the individual that had five talents and he made ten. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Then he that received one came and said, Lord, I knew that a hard man reaped me that I have not sown and gave me that I have not stored. So we can't make excuses. The individual with the one talent, in other words, he didn't use it, he hid them talents. We have to use these talents to the best of our ability. Right? And whatever, whatever ability, whatever your gift is in within this truth, you have to use them. Right? Because we do have God given gifts, talents. Right? We have them, we have them talents. Right? And it says, Gavin, when I have not stored, I knew I'm a what? Hard man, reap me, I have not sown, and Gavin, when I have not stored. I'm gathering. Where, where, where's my arm? Um, where, where's the arm? Um, Where's the cash? In terms of cash, this would be the labor, what you've done. What, 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 have, you got, where, what have you got to show? Verse 25, I was afraid and I hid thy talent in the earth. Here's excuses, I was afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid of what? The one that told you to re require the talent. So that should have moved you. And fear is also a motivation. You fear the Lord. That's your motivation. You got men to go, oh, I fear the Lord. You know? But if you fear the Lord, you're going to do what He says. If you fear the Lord, Jehovah, you're going to do what He says. Because you're moved by fear. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. I was afraid and when it hid that talent in the earth and know that dead, that is dying, gave it back. So hold on, it says he was afraid and hid that talent. So if you're afraid, look, even with the whole the whole mob boss and the mafia movies, if they give you a complete the, the mob boss, even if your work, they're giving you something, they want to see what you're doing with it. So if you if this individual was afraid, you're not gonna hit, you're not gonna dig that talent in the earth. So this is someone that they didn't really have that true fear. He went and hid that talent in the earth. He just went and digged it and went about your business, went back into the world. And this is what you see happening into the truth. There's nothing, there's no other way out. What are you going to do? Go back into the world and enjoy yourself with demons. You can't do that. You might as well just stay the course, stay the course. But it's really up to you how to shine. It's really up to you how to shine. And yeah, this time we're going to be feeling weak, we're going to be feeling tired. Right? Especially when Esau using all these different devices, the, um, using people to come up against you, you're going to be feeling low. But you have to what? Enjoy. We have to enjoy all these things. Okay? And it says, His Lord, you have to answer and unto Him. Right? And more of the agents come out this morning. His Lord said unto Him, Right? Thou wicked and slothful servant. Thou knewest that I reach where I sold not and gather where I have not stored. Right? The altar is therefore to put my money to the exchange and then at my coming I have received my own with what you shall reap. You're better giving it to someone else. They will use that talent 
and they would give it back to Yahweh Shah rather than you just, just hiding it. Right? Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him that have what? Ten talents. Right? So that talent gets taken from that individual that had one, gets given to somebody else. Right? That's actually working upon what their talent. And I love this, um, I love this chapter because it says you have a talent. Right? It says you have a talent. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, take the talent from him, right? And give it to him that have 10 talents. So you're going to be doubled. You're going to multiply upon them talents. Okay? And it says, For everyone that have shall be given, shall have an abundance. So you're going to be what? Have an abundance of this proof that you've been given. So guess what? You have a talent. That means you're of use. Now, if you don't, that means you're just you're just you're not of no use if you don't have no talent right and that's why these people did yes yeah some of these people in the world they're talented but the ones that sold out they were given that talent by the devil because the devil can also give you particular gifts and talents as well and when you disobey him he takes away them talents and he disregards you so that there's there's two sides of, of the coin yeah the devil gives you talents as well Look at some of these magicians. Some of these magicians, some of them say, well, I don't know how I played that song. It was like a supernatural ability. Jimi Hendrix, yeah, he was motivated by the devil. That's why he was such a great guitarist. Right? But, but our talent is on the right-hand side. And the people of this world, they want you to sell out. Right? So you can use your talents. But, so they can use your, your, your righteous talents for wickedness. That's why. Okay. That is why. And it says, um, for everyone that have shall be given and shall have an abundance of this knowledge, but from him that have not shall be taken away even a little, the little that he have. And cast you the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. I don't want that happening. That's why you gotta be about this truth every day. It doesn't matter. You may even do a little ten minute video. As long as you're putting your Hawa Shai first, I always say that. And the camera doesn't need to be on. Because you've got people that try to um that blackmail or um we switch off the internet. That's fine. I just do I still I will still teach, even if this gets switched off. That's what's gonna happen in the end anyway. Alright? You just continue to teach. And cast you the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, they shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's what there's gonna be. Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Alright, that's destruction. Right? And all the works are written down. Every time you went out there, you went into the highways and byways. Every time you had a stomach ache, you had that. You're going out, but you have a stomach ache. It's like, oh man, but I still have to teach. The Lord sees that. The angels see that. Every time you're ready, ready, and feeling tired, you didn't want to get out of bed, but you still done a video. The angels see that. Right? Especially when it comes to Saturday, because according to the world, yes, yeah, Saturday, that's that day where you want to party, relax. Every single effort you've made the blood sweat and tears the angels have seen that your 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 um your work is not um it's not it's being seen by the heavenly father and them angels your labor is not in vain when the son of man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him and he shall sit upon his throne right so make sure we're doing the right things according to and you have to be brotherly as well a lot of men lack that as well the brotherly love right a lot, a lot of men, they thought, yeah, they thought I was completely gone. They thought I stopped. They thought I completely stopped teaching. Right? That's what they thought. A lot of them showed their true colours. Right? A lot of them showed their true colours. Right? You've got to be, you're not always going to have people around you to back you up. Yeah, keep on, keep up the good work. Okay? You're not always going to have that. Okay, that's why we have to stay inspired, and what inspires us the Holy Spirit, that's what inspires us. You have a He sent us the comfort. See, all these things are going, everything's going haywire. Most of these people are going to bug out, but the elect will be sound, and they will be sound in Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. They will be sound in this word, they'll be protected, they'll be what they will have that hedge because they've trusted in Him, right. And I don't know, Yahweh might show you a chariot, which I haven't seen a chariot. I'm not going to lie, I haven't seen a chariot in a little while now. But Yahweh he does things during it. It's the way he works. 
this is the thing, this is the thing. If you're doing what Yahushua told you to do, all throughout the day, he will show you some type of miracle. Okay. All throughout the day, he will show you a miracle. Right? And it could be just a little thing. You might, it might see a 4-4, four, four. might see a triple 4, might see a 14, might just see one 4, which represents mercy. Might see the triple sevens, which represents perfection. Um, a lesson you're doing, or a lesson you're thinking about, then another brother brings out that same lesson, or something. Man, all these things, these are all signs. These are all signs that Yahweh Shai is, is, is dealing with you. Alright? So we went to that. Just stay, stay as focused as possible. Our labor is not in vain. It's only in vain if you if you stop. Excuse me just a minute. Corinthians. Go to Corinthians nine and John Pat twenty two to the weak became I as weak. So Paul he even knew how to deal with different people. Because in this truth as well, you have to be um, flexible in terms of how you're dealing with different people that may be new to this truth. I became all things. I became all things to all people. All, right? all things. To the weak, I became weak. All right? So, can we use a certain type of guile? Righteous guile. All right? Some may be weak in the faith. You, you, you present yourself as you come to you. You condescend to men of lower state. It tells you that in Romans, in twelve, you condescend to men of lower state. Okay, and it says, "Baba Kasha, I became weak to the weak that I might gain the weak, so we also can gain the weak." You gotta know how to relate. Okay, and it says, "Baba Kasha." I made I am made all things to all men. I am made all things to all men. He was a barbarian to the barbarians. But that's what he was. He was weak to the weak. Okay. And it says that I might be by all means save some. But he by all means able to save some. Right? So it's about pulling pulling certain other people out of that fire right and this I do for the gospel sake that I might be a partaker thereof with you know you not that they which run in the race run all right doggies here now right so those that run in a race run all so this is a race and guess what it's not a marathon right so like it, it's not a sprint. Because you sprint, you can burn out. Yes, sir. sir. Let me put. I'll pause it. I'll pause it. A sprint. Because if in a sprint you can burn out, right? This is a marathon. So we gotta pace ourselves because we don't want to burn out within this truth. So we pace ourselves, right? The, the the race ain't given to the swift, but him he that endureth. It's not given to a swift. And people have told me this as well in the truth. But where are they? They're still lukewarm. It doesn't give us a, a reason to be lukewarm right you cannot be lukewarm in this truth okay sending these Esau sending these pretty pretty ass women right okay anyway come on come on come on and it says gotta stay focused and even that could be a distraction as well women bro my testosterone is high right now <laughs> but we gotta be focused on this truth and come bro come on more men especially when you come to this truth Bro, your, your testosterone even levels up. You become an like alpha or a sigma male. So, yeah, we, we desire, look, what man don't desire women? But the Lord's going to give you that anyway. So don't worry about all of that. Look, look the Lord already knows. The, the Lord already knows your type, everything. Height, type, build, what you like in sleazy, you like in brunette, huh? you like the blondes. Right, I don't mind blondes, but if if I do have a blonde, the blonde has to have um, the blonde has to have dark eyes. If she's blonde, she has to have dark eyes and brown 
black eyebrows. I like them type of blondes. But the main thing, anyway, I prefer brunettes, dark-haired um, women. Right? But the Lord, look, he's got all of that in store for us. Yahweh has got all of that in store for us if we enjoy. I'm telling you. He, he knows your type, everything. Right? Yahweh said, I'll give you the des des desires of thy heart. But one thing you've got to do is you've got to serve me and be obedient. But there's, there's many, thing, many things I want. You see this massive, massive land here? Imagine if you had all this. This, 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 isn't, this is going to be ours. This is going to be ours. Yeah, I'm just going to give us all these things and more. But right now it's the time of humility. Where we've got to suffer. The Lord's going to give us all of this. He knows your desires. He knows what you want. Right? Architecture's going to be, oh man, the architecture's going to be off the chain. The architecture, the architecture's going to be off the chain. We're going to come up with all types of designs. How to build. What, what scripture was I on? Finish off this. This is 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Know ye that but which one in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that you may obtain. Run that you may obtain that prize. Run. Don't stop. You have men that try to discourage you. You may be teaching in certain camps, and you got men that, that get judged. The, the Lord will judge you for that if you ain't repented for that. And they bring out um Matthew's, what was it, Matthew 7? And what 24 on down um, many will say Lord Lord have we not done many wonderful works so men will bring that out but they will not bring it out in a, in a righteous manner they bring it out in a deceitful manner so you're doing all them works yeah but I will say to you I never knew you yeah the Lord is going to say that and he's gonna say that to individuals that are deceitful because they never came in with the right intent he's not gonna say that to someone that has the right intent but that's being fervent for him because the Lord did say, I will spew thee out if thou are lukewarm. So the Lord wants you to put your all into your Habashai. He wants you to do that. Don't want you, he doesn't want you to be half assed But you've got to know, this, this way you have, to, you have to know yourself. This way you have to know yourself. What works for you, what don't work for you. Right? It doesn't mean you do 50 odd videos a day. It doesn't mean that. You've got to know what works for yourself and what don't work for you. Okay. Let's see what we've got. And if any man striveth for the mastery, he is temperate in all things. Now, you, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. But we, because you've got men that do it to, to obtain a corruptible crown, right? They don't come in with the right intentions. So it's a corrupt crown, all right? Just like within this world, you know. The, what's it? The MBEs, the the um the mobile awards. That's a corruptible. That's a that's corruptible, right? Fighting for a belt. That's corruptible. It's not even real gold. The WBO. So that's corruptible. And you got men that come in with corruptible means. They came in for the wrong reasons. They came in for views. Maybe they were nobody in the world, so they wanted to come into the truth and be somebody. Maybe they came in for women. For vain glory, you got men that do that, and because they come in for that, they never um. When when things get hard, difficult, they're like, oh whoa, what's going on here? Because they never really knew what this truth was about. But we are in, in, incorruptible, so we should be doing it for the incorruptible crown that your house is going to lay up on our heads, right? The everlasting rewards of righteousness. That's the incorruptible crown. And you are going to be given a physical crown. But the incorruptible crown is the reward. Right? And it says, I therefore shall run not as uncertainty. Certainly. So you're running. You're running uncertainly. You're just looking around. Now you want to be running with confidence. Looking to finish. Right? Looking to finish. Okay. You want to finish that race. So fight. I am not as one that beateth the air. Which nothing's wrong with that. Shadow box. Because that shadow box is good for um, your reflexes. But you're not. We're talking about a, phys a physical. You're not, you're not beating the air. Alright. 
because when you're beating the air, you're, you're losing more strength. Every time you miss, but you're losing strength, right? So what we fight is not one that beat of the air. So even when our lessons, we want to be very um, decisive, on point, straight to the mark. Not five minutes down the line, ten minutes. You watch this video, it's like, well, what what are you getting to? Hmm? Verse twenty-seven. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Very, very, very serious. I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Right? Key thing, excuse me. So this is like an everyday thing. Keeping under your body. That's 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 self-discipline. Right? Self-discipline. Which you can say there is there people in the world with great there is people in the world that have discipline. But it's for um, sports and different things, right? A jogger, you need to have discipline to be um, a marathon jogger, to be a weightlifter, discipline, certain diet, right? Okay, footballer, they have a, 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 a strict regimen, right? So it's more, it's more so the same, it is truth, right? It's more so the same. Right? And you appreciate what I've noticed as well. Don't you appreciate things more when you're really um disciplining yourself? And this goes to me as well. Right? Because a lot of the time we get them dope what's it dopamine? You know that do that dopamine rush. Right? And that dopamine rush is basically it's when you do things that feel good, it gives you that dopamine rush. Ah, let's play Xbox. It gives me that dopamine rush. Right? Okay. Let's go to the pub. It gives me that dopamine rush. So there's certain things you do that give you that, that level of dopamine. It's a feel-good feeling. Right? It's that feel-good feeling. That's that dopamine rush. Right? But things are more rewarding when, you, when you're disciplining yourself. You know someone that just eat, eats, 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 and eats? They don't really enjoy that food because now they're just eating. Rather than you exercise, you study, you fast, and you appreciate that you appreciate that food more because you've abstained. So the more you abstain from things, the more you appreciate things. Right? That's going into something else. I might as well talk about it. I didn't bring, I didn't bring my, my apocrypha. So the scriptures also talk about that. With discipline in Romans. And I would advise brothers and sisters to also read, read Proverbs as well. Because Proverbs is all... All them scriptures in Proverbs are about character. And how to deal among people. Right? That's what Proverbs is about. It's wisdom. Proverbs also deals with psychology. Right and Ecclesiasticus, it deals with the reasonings of um the reason the reasonings of man. Right? That's what it deals with, the reasonings of man. Okay. Go to Romans, Baba Kasha. And we're not gonna be perfect because we all have shortcomings in this truth. So this listening, oh holy we all have shortcomings. We all have things we need to work upon. Even me. Right? Plenty of things we need to work upon. Okay? But there's always room for improvement within this truth. I could be doing this slightly better, I could be doing that better. Right? Go to Romans 8. There is no therefore no condemnation to them which are in the ark. Right? Who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. So Paul's given us clues. He says, there's no, there's no condemnation to you if you're walking in the spirit most of the time. Right? Because when we walk in the spirit, we, we're doing the things that are pleasing Yahweh Shai. Okay? And it says, verse 2, for the law of the spirit of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai made me free from the law of sin and death. Right? 
law of the spirit of life and made me free. Right? Free from the spirit of from law, from the, from law and death. I was doing a lesson yesterday that liberty that we have in Yahweh Shai. Right? So we have that liberty in Yahweh Shai. Okay? But what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, the most I said is his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. So the law couldn't make us it was supposed to bring us to perfection, but it did not. Right? It did not bring us to perfection. And for sin condemned sin in the flesh. So that's what Yahweh Shai died when he was upon earth. He condemned sin in this flesh. Okay. Verse 4 that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Righteousness of the law might be fulfilled. So you could um, have righteousness within the law by just doing the things according to the spirit. So, in other words, you, if you take out 20 minutes of your day to study, another 10 minutes to do a video that's you walking that's you in the spirit now if you rather said nah you know what i'm not going to do that instead i'm going to um i'm going to eat a double uh, whopper burger sit down sit down with my woman watch netflix and you don't study at all that means you just put more time into the flesh so there is justification but the justification is through serving yahweh shai that's where, that's where that justification comes, by serving Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. To the best of our ability. Okay? Then it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Who rule not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Paul's given us all the clues. Those that walk, walk after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Right? I mean, look, bro, we all have certain activities that we like doing, but we have to put the things of the spirit first, okay? But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, for to be carnally minded is death, for most of the people are carnally minded, and that's why they're on the road, they're on the road to death, because they're carnal. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So we want to be spiritually minded. Right? We want to be we want to be spiritually minded. Right? That's life and peace. Okay? So there's great peace in being spiritually minded. A lot of people, they don't have peace. I can tell by the way they conduct themselves. They don't have inner peace. Because someone someone that has inner peace don't need they don't need to um interrupt somebody else's peace or try to bring them down right to be spiritually minded is life and peace right so that's what we have to be spiritually minded right these people don't have real inner peace that's why they have that's that's why they have to walk around and follow you <laughs> right you're the prize right you are the prize right so the elect are the chosen ones, the real chosen ones, not that, sh that, not that new age garbage, right? Not that new age garbage. The elect are the real chosen ones, right? The elect are the real chosen ones, okay? Damn clowns, clowns have to follow you about. But it's, it's a wreck, because you're the prize, you're the one with the light. What are the real light bearers? Not them. Right? Cool, they're, they're masons, but they're still walking around in darkness. How are, you, how are you a mason and you're still walking around in darkness? Ain't a mason supposed to be the light bearers? Hmm? Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, so it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. Right? So you can't, you can't, you can't. Be subject to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and be carnal. Right? These people are they're, they're very carnal. They're very worldly. Right? They all have the same mantra. These people have, they all have the same mantra. They all act the same. Right? Because that's that hive mentality. The 
because the carnal mind is enmity against the most high. And guess what? I want to say this as well. With this truth, with the Holy Spirit, we have the power through Yahweh to control the narrative. They're not controlling anything. They're thinking, um, well, they're controlling the narrative. They're not control they're not controlling anything. Right? Right? They're controlled, they're manipulated. They that's why they have to walk around in circles, right? Why the elect teach this word and watch us increase, why they, they decrease. Right? They're not free. They get they get told what to do. Right? They get told what to do, where to go, what to wear, and they don't even get they don't even get up early enough. <laughs> they don't get they, they don't even get up early enough. Right? I'm the first one up, ready to teach this word. And yeah, they have to they have to follow you about. Right? And they're void they're void of light. That's it, they want the light, but they're not willing to do the things that they have to do to, to, to come to the light. So the Lord's going to leave them out in darkness. So then they, that's having the flesh, cannot please the Most High. So we cannot fully please Yahweh Shai if we're always in the flesh. So we've got to get out of the flesh. Though we're in the flesh, because these are um, bodies for our souls, or spirits, but we're not... We're not supposed to be staying in the flesh, doing for all 24 hours a day, right? Because we are, I always say this, we are spiritual beings having a, a, a physical, it's like a, it's like a, we are physical beings having a, we're supposed to be physical beings having a spiritual experience, right? A spiritual experience, right? But most of these people, they're carnal. Right? They're about the here and now, what they can see. Right? And because you're such on a, on a spiritual, not to boast or brag, you're, because you're such on a spiritual wavelength, they don't know how to deal with it. They don't know how to deal with it. They can't comprehend it. But you're not in the flesh. Right? But in the spirit. So if peace so of the spirit of the most like in you now, if any man have not the spirit, I must have peace, none of peace. And if Moshe like being you, the body is dead because of sin. Going back to the premise of the lesson, we have to um, die. We're dead in Yahweh Shai, but we're risen through him. Right? And that 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 is a resurrection. That's a resurrection. That's that is like a resurrection. The Mason says, I've, I've, the Mason say, I've died twice. I've died twice. And all right, you've died twice. And what have what have you gained? You're still the same person. Oh no, you're twice dead. The scriptures tell you you're twice dead and plucked up from the roots. Because a zombie, I've died twice. And you, what, you're still on a level of what? Okay. All that masonry, is, to me, it's all, it's all right. Really, all that masonry stems back from the scriptures. It stems back to Solomon, because Solomon was a master mason. And Hiram, which was a helper. Right? So it really, all that masonry it stems from the scriptures. The good, the, the knowledge of good and evil. You have the black, the black and white checkerboards, right? The bad and the good. I, I understand all that, and I understand the, I understand the principles of masonry. I understand all them, but the principles are of the scriptures, right? These silly people with these silly color codes, right? The true principles are of the scriptures. So if you're not following these principles, you're going off. Right? And even in masonry, they teach you the name of Yahweh directly. They teach you, yeah, what's the masonry about their lodges? It's about secret secret knowledge. Alright? But the secret knowledge is in the scriptures. So if you have all these secret knowledge, their whole thing is, don't tell. Oh, we need to keep it a secret. Keep, keep, keep it, don't tell anyone. Right? Right? If you tell anyone, we, we, we cut up your bodies and we, we put it in different places on, on the earth. No, 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 that's some Babylonian mystery school rubbish. Right? And really the secrets are given to the prophets. Right? And if you have wisdom, it's, wisdom is to be dispersed. Not for you to keep it a secret. <laughs> not for you to keep it a secret. Oh, don't tell. Well, um... Uh, I've, I've got a son. Well, is, is, is he a mason? Well, what does it matter? 
what does it matter on if he if he is or not? Right? So all these people walk around with their hand with their hands behind their back. I don't tell. If you don't tell, I won't tell. It's rubbish. So with the upper echelon, basically they're teaching others they're teaching each other just to become robots, basically. Robots and conformists. Right? Oh man. But we went into that Baba Kasha, but if any the spirit of him that raised up Yahusha from the dead dwelling in you, he that raised up Mashiach from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Right? So that's what Yahusha would do, will raise up his elect. Okay. That's what he's gonna do. Okay. So we went into that Baba Kasha. But pretty much we got into a lot of topics. Let me just check the time. And the battery. A little bit more time left. Yeah. All that um basically what did let's go into it. What's that with the knowledge of ah oh, now that's in there, for the scriptures, the knowledge of evil, the knowledge of wickedness is not it's not that's not true knowledge. It's it's a knowledge of wickedness, but it's not true knowledge on the right hand side. So within within masonry, they have knowledge, but it's more so knowledge on the left hand side. And it's knowledge of the, the, the guilds, it deals with um a lot of masonry deals with what's the word, what's the word, what's the word? Geometry. So in other words, you're a builder, right? And it does go, it goes further than Britain. Right now, the reason they mention Britain because you know, there was a lot of um, masons that stem out of British, but it didn't begin in Britain. It, be it begins with the scripture Solomon. Solomon was a master builder. The scriptures talk about builder. Excuse me, just a minute. Baby, just a minute. The, the scriptures talk about a chief cornerstone, the head cornerstone. Excuse me, just a minute. One thing at a time. What their knowledge is. Um, it's more so esoteric. They deal with geometry, right? A lot of builders deal with geometry, right? You have something called the guilds, right? The guilds is what one of the highest levels within the mason. The guilds, right? So for you to be higher qualified, a, a high qualified guilder, you would have to learn more astrology and rectangles and triangles and measurements and all that, right? Same with a high, high qualified electrician, right? Manipulation of elements and so forth and this and that. Same with, con same with contractors. They have a certain level of knowledge, right? But where does all knowledge come from? The Heavenly Father. Excuse me just a minute. All right. You yeah, understand they really take this masonry stuff seriously, but it all stems from the scriptures. Excuse me just a minute. Right? Have you ever noticed some um, uh, example? I can't. I can't find a scripture. Excuse me. Just I can't find it right now. But have you ever noticed? Example: You have Saint Saint Louis in America. You have Saint Louis. Even London, you have what the London Bridge, right? Have you ever drove across that London Bridge and you hear the sound? It's like a certain vibration, a certain echoing it gives off. Right? And it's a, it's like a demonic echoing. And it affects people's moods, right? Well, who do you think built that bridge? It was it was the guilds, it was masons that built that that London bridge. It's like a certain wiring, metal wiring, right? And it makes a certain noise, but it gives off a negative vibration, and it changes people's moods when they drive across that bridge, right? Because London is a very uh, demonic city, very demonic, right? But why is it able to give off that vibration? Because the people that built that bridge, they had the level of knowledge in masonry of sounds, secrets of sounds, right? Okay, and they have certain, yeah, portal knowledge. That's why it says Ephesians 6 and 11, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? Okay, but against forces of darkness. Well, what do you think of forces of darkness is? 
All right? So when you have qualified electricians and mechanics, I'm talking about fully qualified, fully qualified, and your physicists, they have certain abilities on how to manipulate certain elements. We talk about the dark forces. What do you think these dark forces are? Hmm? You ever have you ever had a plane that goes that um goes really really low, and it's making like a, a a rumbling noise? What that's 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 having an effect on people's what vibration. Put some water in a cup. Put some water in a cup, and if you have some speakers, play a certain music and see how that water reacts to that certain music. Right? See how it reacts. Put it in a cup. Put the cup right next to the speaker because our bodies are made of what 85 90 percent water so esau even knows right he uses certain vibrations to um affect your body right he uses certain vibrations to affect your body because your body's made of water right there's so much uh, there's so many uh, there's so many things <laughs> uh, there's so many things you learn within this truth but, but but I don't this is the thing I don't I don't keep secrets to myself you're given this word to teach it Masons do that oh, no no you can't tell them well where is he is he a Mason it doesn't matter right they say oh, the game is to be the game is to be uh, the game is to be sold and not told right no the truth be told I like that song truth be told the truth has to be told this whole thing of the game, it's, 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 not, it's, it's not to be told, it's to be sold. No, you tell them, right? You live in a society where you don't want to, and this is why people stay stuck. Because now you have the lodges and so forth. And you know, not all lodges get together. You know, all lodges, all masons don't agree. So you also have masonic lodges that are at friction with each other. It's like a, it's like a battle for power, right? But you're given knowledge to 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 teach the next generation. That's why you're supposed to be given knowledge so you can teach your next generation, and they can teach um, their generation. And that explains why everybody's stagnant because nobody wants to share it. I don't keep that a secret. You mustn't tell. The hell is that? All right. Now we have certain secrets that we confess these secrets and these mysteries, but not everybody understands it. Go to Matthew's, Baba Kishore. This is Matthew's 13. And 10. And disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Parables is dark sayings, riddles. Why are you speaking to them in, in riddles, parabolic state? A riddle is, is, you know, you're speaking. And another thing, Masons also do that, hand gestures. They do a lot of codes, they do a lot of sign, sign language, right? So why are you speaking to them in parables? A parable is it's just, it's meant for those that are uh, initiated, right? So we talk about initiation, well you have an elect that they're initiated into Yahweh Shai, right? And it says, and the disciples came and said unto him, why speak as though to them in parables, okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, he answered and said unto Rem, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Right? And the reason why a lot of these people follow you is because they want you to join. Don't you get it? You're a prized possession in Satan's kingdom. Right? You know how many offers I get all the time? Right? Come and join our lodge. Right? <laughs> okay. But there's no need to because when you have your Habasha, you have all knowledge. Right? You have all knowledge. So come on now. And it says, because it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Right? It's given unto you to know all their mysteries. Okay? What's a mystery? Secret. Not divulged to everybody. Right? And when I looked up that word mystery in the Greek is mysterion, mysterion, which said only given to the few initiated, hidden from the wicked, and plain to the godly. So you can also be initiated into this truth, because this truth is also an, an initiation. Right? Not 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 like um on, not on the left hand side where you have to um 
what do you have to do? You have to put a, what's it? Blindfold you, you go into the lodge, right? Okay, blindfold you, okay. Pull up your trouser, your trouser sleeve. You don't have to do all that with the, with the tree, right? You don't have to do all that. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And he answered and said unto them, because it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the Most High, right, of heaven. But to them it is not given. It's given unto you to know the mysteries. But to them it is not given. So even though we're speaking this plainly, clearly, it's not given to everyone. It's given to the few. Initiate. For whosoever hath to him shall be given. And he hath shall more abundance. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken away, even if he have. Right? Even that he have. Okay? Therefore, I speak to them in parables because they sing, seeing not in heaven, and hear not, neither do they understand. That's why he's spoken to them in parables. Because not everybody's going to understand. Right? Not everybody's going to receive this word. That's why it's written in the parabolic sense. Now, when Yahweh was speaking to his disciples, was there certain things they didn't understand? Yeah. But then he made it clear. He made it plain. Right? Several parables where he made it plain. And we can go to an example. John. And ten, very, very, excuse me, <coughs> very, very, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth by the, by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the port that openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. Right? And when he hath put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice, and the stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. This is a parabolic talk. For they know not the voice of strangers. This parable, see, spake Yahweh Shai unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Ren said Yahweh Shai unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Breaking it down plainly. Letting him know he was the door that he was just breaking down in John 10. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and go in and out and find pasture. So you have a shall be speaking plainly now. I am the door. I am the gateway. I am that path. Right? <clears throat> and thou shalt find pasture. What's the pasture? Three words. I have pasture all around me right now in a physical sense. What do horses need? Horses need pasture. Horses need to feed on something, right? They need to graze cattle. Well, this is the pasture. Right? This word is the pasture. Alright? Mm -mm -mm. Okay? And this is what we feed upon. Alright? This is our feeding. Alright? So what, are, what what is our pasture? Our pasture is the word. Alright? That is our pasture. Okay? The word. Okay, and without this pasture, you're done. Alright? People, where are these people getting all these dogs from? Mm -mm -mm. So this is our pasture. Okay? And it says, a lot of these people, a lot of these people have sold out, man. They've, they've, they've done a horrible deal. They made a deal with the enemy. Right? So, by Lord willing, this was edifying. Call these various topics and until the next time, Shadow Arms of the Hopeful Elect across the globe. Shadow Arms.